Okay, guys, let's see how we can use uh, queuing uh, service and why it might be helpful. Uh, here in this uh, schematic, we can see that uh, the client is sending an HTTP request to a web service that publishes certain events or messages to a queuing service. And then another service is uh, pulling those events and reacting with the database with respect of their content. As you can see, everything is placed in containers within different pods so that they can be scaled horizontally or vertically and placed on different locations. This distributed nature prevents uh, some of the common bottlenecks. For example, if everything was uh, not uh, decoupled to different microservices, but was uh, within one service. And the benefit of using a queue service is that if, for example, some of the containers are down, this service can actually accept all the messages and uh, save uh, the messages and events produced uh, from the web service. And then when uh, the containers are again up, they can consume the rest of the messages and decide whether to discard them uh, from the queuing service. This adds another layer of uh, resilience uh, towards the described uh, system. Okay, let's see a simple example of using a queuing service um, with a publisher and a consumer. For the demo, we will use Apache Kafka. I've downloaded um, the binary and uh, now we will start the Kafka environment. So we'll go to the terminal and here I'll start the zookeeper and then the Kafka server so that we can use uh, the queuing system. All right, let's use those servers now. For our project, we'll have one uh, consumer and one uh, producer, and we're using Kafka JS, so this library. And on one side, we'll be starting the consumer, so I can type here npm run dev, and it will start the consumer. Now it starts listening for messages. As you can see, we have uh, one unprocessed message here, which is still in the queue. Okay, so let's see the consumer code. Actually, we are running a new instance of Kafka and it's using a broker running on port 9092 on localhost that we've just uh, set up. Then we are consuming a specific topic. So we are subscribing to a quick start events topic. And whenever we receive a message, we see here the destructuring of the whole date of the message and we are printing it a value here on the console log. Let's see now how we can produce such messages. We'll go to the producer. Again, we are running a new Kafka instance and we are choosing the broker running on 9092 port. We are connecting to the broker and here we are choosing the quick start events uh, topic and we are sending a message. All right, let's change this message to event 35, for example. We'll save and here I'll run the producer.js while looking at the output of the consumer here. As you can see, we have one uh, new event which we managed to intercept uh, with our consumer. And so instead of just uh, logging out the message, we can respond to different messages and also create database queries or communicate with other microservices. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the information about uh, how the basic uh, queuing systems and services work. It can be useful for you. And if you enjoyed the information, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.